Hi guys. Um, so it appears that I've been calling uh, Landacre Bridge, Landacre Bridge, but it's actually pronounced Lanaker Bridge. So for, for everybody, you know, for all the locals, I apologise for that. Um, but now we've uh, we've moved on from Lanaker Bridge and uh, we've come to Watersmeet. And the sun has just come out as well, so hopefully we'll get some nice light. But uh, yeah, so this is where the East Lynn and uh, Hor Oak rivers meet, um, hence waters meet, and it runs all the way down into Linton and Lynmouth. I'll show you around now. Yes, so welcome back to waters meet, guys. Um, the last time I came, the, it was during the winter, so the, the rivers were really high. And although it was impressive, um, I think we lost some of the some of the white water and some of the rapids because a lot of the rocks were actually submerged. But um, as it is now, it looks absolutely stunning, and there's more of an opportunity to be able to get in the water to get um, get better composition. So yeah, this is uh, this river here is called Hor Oak. Um, but the East Lynn is on the other side of the, of the bank there. So this is what I'm shooting at the moment. And um, I'm shooting at F14 because I want maximum depth of field. Uh, I've got the polarizer on which I'm using. I'm polarizing it quite a lot to sort of cut through so you can see the detail under, you know, on the riverbed. Um, so yeah, F14, ISO 100, I'm getting about 1.6 seconds, um, which is nice, it's not too much. The trouble is, well, I say the trouble is, it's not really a trouble, um, because there's quite a lot of tree cover here, and your shutter speeds do tend to be on the slower side. But, um, you know, whereas you don't want to push it too far, you know, 1.6 seconds, that's fine, I'm happy with that. And the good thing is, well, in this, this particular area, is there's enough tree cover to be able to keep the sky out of the shot. Because it just becomes distracting and, you know, it ends up flowing out. It just doesn't look very attractive. So, yeah, so all good. Try this at home, kids. Things we do. climb down the bank like I said not condoning this in any way because you know stay safe um, the river is only shallow so uh, you know I'm not taking any risks and there's other people here with me and I just crossed over came to this vantage point here because I wanted to get this the way this waterfall is split into two and there's some lovely rocks at the, in the foreground so uh, yeah I had to get this shot So again, Nissi Polarizer, one second, F14, ISO 100, and I'm shooting at about, about 30 mil, something like that. So, it's looking good. down to try and incorporate this smaller waterfall at the front with the, the two larger ones at the back. So there's the composition. And 
There's the photograph. Absolutely beautiful. Well worth getting down in here, you know, getting down in the river for. Yeah, definitely. Anyway, let's get somewhere safer and move on. Okay, so shot number two from, from Waters, mate. Um, I've come down from the main bridges and I wanted to try and incorporate the some of the rapids and the, the house itself, uh, the National Trust House. So um, at 17 mil, I can just about do that and get the house in the top left. And just a second ago, we had a lovely bit of sunlight coming through. It's lighting up the trees. So the trees were all nice and vivid green using the polarizer as well. Really brought the color out in the trees but the, the rocks and the, the, the falls were a little bit um, subdued, so kind of a nice contrast. I managed to keep it low enough to keep the sky out, so there's no, I haven't got to worry about putting a grad on at the moment, but um, yeah, I'll, I'll show you the composition. So that's pretty much, pretty much what I'm looking at. another composition it's a great thing about this place there's just so many so many opportunities i think it's it's definitely better when the water is lower like this because there's much more going on although you know you can I, I guess you could overdo it but it's i think it's nice i'm liking this Again, it's always always better to bring wellies because you want to get in the water you want to get where the compositions are get down so you can get the falls you know get get right in the action but don't be daft because that there is probably over over my weight feet. so you know just be safe yeah good since like you know two o'clock this morning that makes steps a really you know hard work all right so there was only about 10. it's still hard work i'm gonna wander down and see if i can find ken F Barry back up at the uh, that last waterfall. And some lovely light, little pockets of light breaking through. So it's a case of kind of finding your composition and then uh, just waiting for the light to hit the tree and then snapping away. So yeah, I'm gonna go down and check out this road bridge. There he is.
much as I hate to admit it, I think I'm pretty much done, eh? There's so many dippers flying around, it's awesome. Yeah, the sun's a bit too, a bit too harsh now. Uh, I think I'm getting close to the time on the uh, ticket on the car as well, so you know, I'm going to call it a day. But uh, yeah, so for the second second time from Waters Meet from me, um, and also Lanaker Bridge, which I now know is called Lanaker Bridge and not Landacre. Thanks to uh, thanks to Barry for correcting me on that. But, uh, yeah, it's been good to get out. Good to vlog again. I'm hoping that I've got plenty of images to show you, and hopefully some nice 4K footage as well. Because I'm now using this GoPro Hero 7 Black and shooting in 4K 60. So. Hopefully my PC will be able to handle it. But, uh, yeah. So that's, uh, this, this river is the East Lynn, and the one on the other side is uh, Poor Oak. And like I said earlier, where the two rivers converge is obviously uh, where the name comes from. So, uh, yeah, I think I'll wrap this up here, guys. So, I um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and um, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you do subscribe, click on the bell. That way you'll get notified whenever I upload a new video. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you next time. day goes on it's quite a popular location being a Saturday as well